Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back. So today I'm gonna be building my six GPU mining rig. You might have already seen the mining rig. It was already set up, but that was with the old motherboard. I finally got, you know, all the different parts and pieces to really build this up. So let me go over all the different parts that I got, kind of show you what I'm working with. So I got this Corsair 1000 watt platinum power supply. I got this motherboard, which might work, it might not work. I've seen some people talking about how it might be kind of tough to get four GPUs to work, more than four GPUs to work, and I have six. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this might be a pain in the ass today, but I'm gonna work with it. If not, I might have to send it back and get something else, but we'll see how it goes. The RAM I got is DDR4, it's a four gigabyte stick, and this is the CPU I went with. This is the G3930. And I also got this two pack of power switches and a bunch of risers. I bought some extras just in case one of them doesn't work. And I'll have all the links down below and you might be wondering where I got these GPUs from. I actually got them on the NVIDIA website. So they were, these are the 1070 Ti's. They were 450 each. Um, you have a limit of two purchases per customer, but I used PayPal and I was able to put in three separate purchases and it worked. And then on top of that, in a couple of weeks, I should also be getting two 1080 Ti's. So I'll be building a whole nother rig once I get those, but let's get started on this. I'm excited. Oh yeah, I forgot one last thing. I went with these uh, SSD hard drives. It's 120 gigabyte. All right, now let's get started. Okay, so right now I'm re-drilling the holes into these pieces of wood. And I got this little kit here. It comes with all the screws. Um, it comes with the spacer for the motherboard here. And then some screws for the GPU to screw into here. Uh, so I definitely recommend getting this if you don't already have all the screws you need. Got lights, looks like everything's getting power. Nothing on the screen, I might have to change cards here. Power save mode, try this one. Power save mode, try the next one. Nope. <laughs> All right, this is the last one I could try. Nope. Okay, so we already got our first problem. Um. So what I'm gonna do is disconnect some of the cards. It might be that there's too many connected or something and I have to go into the BIOS, into the motherboard and switch up some settings. So I'm gonna do that now. So I've been struggling with this for like the past two hours and I think I found the problem. If you could see that, that's, the, uh, that's where the CPU goes on the motherboard and if you notice like right there, it looks like two of the pins, possibly three, are bent. And I'm not sure if I did that or if this was like somebody bought it and returned it. You know what, I'm going back on the footage and if you remember when I was putting the, uh, the CPU into the motherboard, you could notice that the pins were bent already. Okay, so basically um, this sucks. So I have to do a return and get another one. The motherboard's in. I got Diana helping me with the rig today. She's slowly getting into this whole thing. She's never built a computer before. This might be her first one. And she's also going to be building her own rig once we get the other new cards that come in, right? Yeah, not this though. <laughs> yeah, the next one, I didn't mention this in the beginning, but I built this, or we both built this thing, and Definitely. took, yeah, I, well you help with like the planning and stuff, so, but, I'm not building another one of these things. It was just a pain in the ass. So the next one I'm probably going to just buy already made. But uh, yeah, getting the MOBO screwed in right now. Then we're gonna get on to the next step. What you got there? The CPU. This is the central processing unit. All right, here we go. We got it. Moment of truth. <laughs> Garbage. Is something not connected? Is the oh, power wait, on? Wait, wait. All right, I think we got it. Let's go with the power switch. Oh, look at the lights. Now we gotta hey. hope we get something on the screen. <laughs> yeah, it's just blinking. 
and we're good. We we will have to get into um, Windows. No, to BIOS. Hit oh. F1. Oh, the keyboard doesn't work. It's not plugged in. Uh, no, nothing's plugged in. <laughs> All right, so this motherboard that I went with is the ASUS Prime Z270P. Supposedly you could do up to eight video cards on it if you get the M2 adapters, but I'm just doing six. Now the reason why I went with this motherboard is because I heard some really good stuff about it and also Vosk Coin, which makes so many mining rig videos, knows a lot more than I do, so I'm sort of following what he's doing um, with the whole uh, you know motherboard setup. So luckily somebody like this exists so I don't have to go and figure out everything. But that doesn't mean it's gonna work 100% <laughs> once we get it there. Cause right now it looks good, but I don't know what's gonna happen. So let's continue on. Set the VTD, it's default as disabled. We're gonna go to enable. And then for above 4G decoding, we're gonna also enable that. Oh. So the next thing you wanna do is go to graphics configuration and then you're changing the primary display to PCIe. And now you wanna to go to DMI configuration and then um, DMI max link speed. This is set to auto, but you wanna change it to gen two. And then from there, we're gonna go back again and go to peg port configuration, switch it from uh, auto to also gen two. All right, so we just made all the changes in BIOS. Now let's see if it's gonna boot up to Windows 10. What do you think? I hope. One thing I'm gonna do first is go to device manager and see what it says. So we got some errors here, might need to do some updates. Display adapters, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, no wait, there's only five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh oh. All right, I just uh, turned it off and reset some of the uh, risers and now I do get six. All right, so got these six GPUs working, no issues so far. I kinda wanna give you guys a quick little um, idea on how much this is earning on NiceHash. And then I'm gonna do some tests on some other algos, uh, maybe Zcash and Ethereum. Um, so right now it's saying that it's gonna earn about .0024 or $28 per day. Now, if the Bitcoin price goes up, then that's obviously going to be more. You can see it sort of dropping now. Um, kind of show you my settings here. So I have the power limit set to 70%, core clock set to 100, and memory clock 720. So far, this is running pretty stable for the last half an hour. No issues yet. It hasn't shut down or restarted. Um, you can see here some of the uh, hash rates and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's switch over to Zcash and see how many souls we're gonna get. All right, so here we go. We're gonna test out Zcash with the six cards. Um, <laughs> okay, that's that's not good. Oh, I see the error, okay. So this was the issue. This is the reason why it was only uh, accepting the first three. So I need to do three and then four, five. So now I have six cards. Um, let's do control S, save it. And at the end I have uh, dash dash PEC. This is gonna be, uh, give me a power reading. So let's start it again. I shouldn't get the error. Nice, so we got all six. So this is gonna tell me how many souls per watt I'm gonna get. And I, okay, here we go. So we got four point, I'm assuming that 3.98 one is probably the one that has this plugged in, the monitor, possibly. Yeah, so 128 watts max per card, uh, 125 on the low end, not bad. Okay, so let's now test out mining Ethereum. Uh, it's been running stable, no issues, and basically just getting about 192 mega hashes per second. So Diana's chilling over here, she's watching a little, uh, I don't know, something on the TV. Uh, the office so I mean how simple was it to set this up meaning not the prior setup you know it was a big headache before getting this set up but this actually I feel like myself wasn't that bad it wasn't it really wasn't but then again I didn't have to build the rig itself so I feel like that was way more complicated but I feel like it was pretty easy but I think having someone else to help you out 
also <laughs> makes it easier. Just like with all the wires, there's just so many, and I feel like we have to do something about it because it's just all over the place. Yeah, we need to do some zip ties yeah. and kind of make it look a little bit nicer, but it's not bad. Like, you know, it's not too bad, but we are getting good temps. 52 Celsius. Okay, so it is now the next day. The rig has been running stable for over 16 hours now. Um, I wanna give you uh, kind of an idea on how much this rig would earn. So if we were to look at nice hash right now, it's predicting about 0 .00236 Bitcoin per day, which translates to about $27 at the current Bitcoin price. Now for Zcash, it's predicting about 0 0.043 per day, which is about uh, $18 per day on that rig, which is a little bit less than mining on NiceHash. Uh, if we go down to Ethereum, it's uh, 0 0.018, which is also less. It's not the most profitable coin to mine. It was really just a benchmark to see what this rig can do. Uh, you know, some of the better coins to do is probably Zencash, which is going to be about 0.62 Zencash per day or 20, almost $22 per day. And then, of course, you have Z Classic all the way at the top right now, which is pulling in about 0.6. 18 or 0.17 per day uh, or about $26. But right now I'm sticking to nice hash. I still want to accumulate some more Bitcoin and then move on to the smaller coins and start uh, slowly building up on those. And then we'll just go from there. So now future plans, you know, I'm going to have that rig running. I'm going to build the second rig once I get the two 1080 Ti cards. And that rig is going to consist of, I believe, two 1080 Ti's and one 1070. Uh, so it's going to be a really small rig and then depending on how that goes, maybe build more, but it all depends on if I could get cards for cheap. So I guess kind of learning experience with this to see how it works out and all that stuff. Uh, quick update on the Antminer S9. Um, I am mining DGB coin, Digibyte, and I've been mining the DGB coin for about, let's say 10 hours maybe and I've gotten 89 coins so far. And according to the calculators, I should be getting about 300 of those coins within a 24 hour period. You know, these coins aren't really, this coin really isn't that expensive. It's like five cents or seven cents or something like that. Um, so I guess it's just more of trying to get as much of that coin as possible and then switch on to something else. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think that's it for today. I hope you found this video sort of helpful in a way. I'm still in a learning process. It's my first full GPU rig build. Um, and I'm sure there might be many more in the future, depending on how this all goes. But uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by and I'll check you out in my next video. Bye.